Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. And today's video is honestly going to be a somewhat short video, but at the very least, uh, I've been noticing quite a few things from uh, all the setups that people have been sending me and whatnot. Uh, asking about their setup, whether it be through my stream or just from like uh, Twitter. And I just wanted to spend this video kind of discussing some of the some of the most common mistakes that I've been seeing, as well as some of the easiest way to help like fix them and make them better and whatnot now before we start the video guys i want to give a quick shout out to my friend damien from damo279 if you haven't heard of him he's another union cross youtuber he does a lot of really good free to play type videos and whatnot and just recently he made a really nice uh, compilation guide towards uh how exactly to save your jewels what to expect uh and the total amount of jewels to, that you can expect to save up throughout the month and whatnot um, as well as some future things you can like kind of keep in mind i totally recommend checking out his channel as well as that video uh, that i have right now pointing to and whatnot it's called free to play 2018 jewel saving spending strategies if you like the way that i think in towards of, like my videos and whatnot if you're a free to play player you might like his channel too but other than that so the first thing that i want to point out now this one isn't necessarily a mistake but i i do want to point it out so right here I have a simple example on uh, khuxtracker.com and I just wanted to show this right here, okay? Now realistically you want to try and use any of the stained glass medals within the first two slots as possible. Although I have been seeing a lot of people uh, use it in this type of fashion where you have the stained glass medal in the third slot um, and maybe even a copy medal copying it from the second slot. So something along these lines and I just want to let you guys know that this is completely fine realistically these the stained glass medals do work as damage medals as well so doing something like this is okay it's completely okay all right the only thing i want to point out though is that you don't really want to use the stained glass medals beyond slot three at all okay um slot three is probably by far the, the like the limit that you want to go in terms of trying to maximize damage um, when using the stained glass metals. There was a Reddit post uh, online by the Reddit user Aust427, uh, who showed a very good picture from his like his testing and whatnot, um, showing the drop off rate for damage when it comes to the stained glass metals and whatnot. And as you could tell on the picture, uh, it starts to really start dropping off after slot three. So slot three is basically where you want to stop <laughs> in terms of trying to use the, the stained glass metals. And that kind of goes back to this picture that I'm showing you guys like right here. Something like this is completely okay, especially if you don't really have that many other good damage metals in the first place. The stained glass metals alone do have really good damage multipliers. So like, even if you don't really have that many good damage metals early in the setup, um, so you can still use stained glass metals within the first three slots for like any setup and whatnot for good damage, okay? Now, after saying this, I do want to point out, I know, I know there's been going around a lot online that like, because of the fact, like you can have all six attributes, okay, for stained glass metals, that all six attributes for the stained glass metals you can put all six on the fairy stars and it will work, okay? I know that's been going around. Please don't do this. <laughs> like, I, I know as cool as this looks, realistically, you're cheating yourself out on damage if you do this. Just by going from the Reddit post that I showed you guys and whatnot, these first three slots right here, okay? You, you're free to do this if you really want to for the first three slots, but anything after slot three, like I just said, you really start losing out on damage that other metals you can easily start like picking up the slack for, okay? Um, so like right here for slot four, I can easily replace this metal with like something else. Uh, maybe like the, the dual wield Roxas EX metal, for example, and that will do like easily more damage. So just to kind of like help show this real quick, okay? Uh, just this setup right here, we're using all the stained glass metals. This does about 52.8 million damage according to the website, okay? If I substitute just the Roxas metal alone, uh, with say the Roxas EX metal, look at the damage difference. So before, with the stained glass, it was about 52.8, and now with Roxas, it jumps up to about 53.4 okay it's not much of a jump but it's still better because realistically when you think of when you look at it all right look at the damage drop look at the damage range for uh, the stained glass metals they have a multiplier range of 12.14 to 17.35 
Okay, and now let's take a look at the Roxas EX Metal. Okay, he inflicts more damage the higher your HP, and he has a max multiplier of 12.54. And remember, they do get the uh, the plus 40% guilt buff from the previous stained glass metals earlier in the setup too. So realistically, dual wield Roxas EX from using a setup like this would actually have a multiplier, a max multiplier of 14.5. 212 okay which is a significant difference so that's just something you guys want to keep in mind that like just because this is something you can do doesn't mean you want to do it okay i also want to point out that you want to make sure that any metals that you do put in the last three slots of whatever keyblade you're using do match the attributes of whatever stained glass metals that you're using as well uh, otherwise you're not going to get the full damage output that uh, you think you might be getting okay so just make sure that you can still uh, fulfill the buffs and debuffs required for any of the last three slots uh, on whatever keyblade you guys are using now this next one i'm about to show you guys is probably the biggest mistake i've been seeing so many people doing i've even seen people in my own party do this too and i have to like constantly tell people like don't don't do this okay you're you're hurting yourself all right which is i'll see people constantly do this so ju we'll just take fairy stars for example again i'll see people do this all the time they'll have their stained glass metal in like the the first slot or something so like fairy stars they'll have like stained glass number three in the first slot then they'll have a copy metal in the second slot and they'll have Kyrie or shioni x in the third slot don't do this okay like like i don't don't you no don't do this okay like really don't like this is bad this is bad okay the whole reason this doesn't work that well i mean like it works technically because it matches the slot attribute but you're losing out on damage it's not efficient solely because of the fact that kyrie and shioni x are not damage metals all right they are literally not damage metals their their multipliers are terrible okay they literally are only there for their buffs and debuffs okay as well as some of their other utility but they're not there for damage at all whatsoever Anything from slot 3 and onwards are more meant for damage metals at that point, okay? Slots 3 and 4 still can provide some utility if you still need them, but you don't want to use Kyrie or Shioni X at all whatsoever uh, beyond slot 2. You should only ever really need to use Kyrie or Shioni X within the first two slots. And I'll show an easy example using the Fairy Stars as well, okay? This right here is the common mistake like that like for example that i showed for my example as to like what not to do okay now let me show you an easy way to fix this okay so if we simply just take out the copy metal and put Kyrie ex in the second slot and then let's add a very common metal such as maybe like the 358 days riku metal for example let's just add them there okay i have right here at the bottom that the previous damage output for the last setup, so where Kyrie's in the third slot, we had to copy metal second slot, that did about 11.3 million damage. And now, just by putting Kyrie in the second slot, and I put Riku in the third slot, if I calculate this, it easily jumps up to 13.4 million damage, okay? I easily did a lot more damage just, just from a simple fix like this, okay? You guys literally do not need or want to use Kyrie Shioni X beyond slot 2, okay? This is probably one of the biggest uh, mistakes I've been seeing a lot of players do. Um, even like veterans left and right sometimes I've been seeing this too so uh, I just wanted to make sure that you guys know to like not do this and like I hope this fixes the situation for you one thing I also meant to mention in some of my previous stained glass metal uh, videos as well is that uh, I recommend that if you're looking to try and get at least two stained glass metals within your like collection and whatnot I recommend getting at least one upright and reverse uh, stained glass metal at the very least doesn't matter what their attribute is get at least one upright and one reverse the whole reason for that is because of the fact that if you can have a Kyrie or shion ex to go along with that stained glass metal it doesn't matter what attribute your stained glass metal is Kyrie and shion ex will provide the psm attribute buffs and debuffs for you to be usable on any keyblade in the game that you decide to use it on but other than that that's it for today guys if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button it is the best way to know when i upload new videos such as this one uh i haven't mentioned it on the channel but i've posted all over my social media but i am hosting a kingdom key series stream every sunday now in addition uh to trying to have the kingdom key series videos out every week now i am resuming those 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 were kind of put on hold a little bit because i was trying to like pump out all of these like stained glass metal stuff and whatnot like I, I, i'm still a little bit behind on material i have to like release but 
at the very least, I'm starting to catch up and I can start doing like the Kingdom Key series videos again, okay? But at the very least, if you guys need help with your setups uh, for whatever event it is you're doing, maybe you need help with the monthly jump quest or whatever, or a tier three challenge, or you just want general advice for a good setup you can do, go ahead, put together your albums on k2xtracker.com and then you can go join me on stream and I can help you guys out individually while still like helping you guys out as a whole. <laughs> but yeah, that's it guys. Uh, other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.